this has been very, very weird. I don't know how many of you have been following this along. I've been keeping my eye on this. So the allegations are made. Everyone is kind of 50-50 on this. You saw some people were like, oh, no, another one. Can't believe. Not him, not him. And then some 50% of other people were like, ah, I'm going to hold my reservations on this until we find out what's going on. Uh, and then like a day or two later, the girlfriend uh, recants the story about what had happened. So there was suspicions around that. Maybe she was paid off. She was pressured to do it. You know, it, it was a lot of theories going around as to why she recanted the initial story. Uh, there was word out there that there were witnesses that could testify that, you know, he didn't do what, what she claimed to have done. We don't know because nothing has really come of it other than Jonathan Major's lawyers, you know, making the statement that they're, they'll go to court, they'll prove it. They've got, you know, uh, that she recanted, that they got witnesses, so on and so forth. Uh, we haven't heard really much of that. But then yesterday and today, these dominoes just started falling. And I, when I say falling, I mean free falling, bro. Completely, right? Jonathan Majors is now facing new abuse allegations from multiple women. It never fails, bro. It never fails. Now, now I'm what I'm about to say is not in, in any way, shape, or form to discredit these new allegations uh, or, or to vindicate those allegations. But what I am going to say is I always find it interesting that when someone does something once, there's always like a whole new slew of people that come out of the woodwork to add on to what the initial allegations were. Y'all, you know what I'm saying here? Y'all notice that? Now, could there be some instances of people just trying to get in uh, for, for a cash grab or, or something like that? There's always a possibility. Is it? Possible that these are, in fact, true allegations? Absolutely, right? So I'm not saying either way, but I'm just saying that it's crazy that he gets into an altercation with his girlfriend, word gets out, it was some abusive thing, and now there's, like, all of a sudden, some more people pop out to, you know, allege allegations here. So what's happening now? Well, he's being dropped by everyone. And when I mean everyone, I mean everyone. His management company, Entertainment 360, the lead company, dropped him. Film and television shows that have dropped them so far, The Man in the Basement and Otis and Zelma, which were projects that were, you know, in the in the works. Brand deals. He's lost brand deals with Texas Rangers, Valentino. He's also been pulled from a nationwide army campaign. He was a he was used in a in a nation, nationwide campaign for the army. Those commercials have been pulled. Uh and and that's just the beginning of all this. Now, what's pretty telling in this is is if your marketing or if your PR firm and your management dumps you, it's starting to look like there may be some validation in what's coming up here, right? And we got the article to dive into here from Variety. They're kind of breaking the story here. We'll take a look at this, all right? Jonathan Major's issues, issues worsen as more alleged abuse victims cooperate in, with the DA's office. So Majors is preparing for a May 8th court appearance on domestic violence charges. His PR problems are about to get bigger. Sources familiar with the matter tell Variety that multiple alleged abuse victims of majors have come forward following his march arrest and are cooperating with the Manhattan District's Attorney Office. The prospect of more women waiting in the wings would mark a dramatic turn in the case and comes on the heels of majors, publicist, and management from cutting ties with the embattled actor earlier this week. Listen, when your management and your PR firm d just deuces on you, they must know that this is worse than what it appears, and they must believe, this is more important, they must believe whatever these allegations are coming up, they must believe it to the point they're, that they're not willing even to hang by his side, that they believe that he is almost certainly done in Hollywood. Because if this wasn't true, if this, if this was an exaggeration, if it was a false allegation, and he, if he were to clear his name, he'd get back into Hollywood, right? Clearly they, they think otherwise for them to just up and leave. Are, you, are we, are we, are we tracking? We're, we're tracking, right? We're all, we're all here. Jonathan Majors is innocent and has not abused anyone. We have prided uh, irrefutable evidence to the DA that charges are false. We are confident that he will be fully exonerated is what uh, Majors' attorney has said in the statement. Since that statement was made, nothing else has kind of come to light. We've, we were just kind of left with that seemingly standard defense attorney, you know, 
mumbo jumbo, right? They're, they're going to defend their client, obviously. What I will say is just based off of how his management and his PR team handled this by cutting ties, that is very telling, in my opinion. I find it tough to believe that he's going to bounce back from this anytime soon. At this point, where people are really waiting to see what happens with Marvel. Are they going to cut ties with him? There's another aspect to this conversation, which I don't know if I want to jump in too deep, although I will mention it, is that people are starting to bring up the race card in all of this. And what do I mean by that? Well, people are saying, look, this just happened. These allegations are happening right here. And look how many people, companies, firms are cutting them off like that. And then they point to other actors like, uh, uh, what's the guy that plays um, The Flash in the DC universe? Uh, Ezra Miller. Remember, he was on some wild, crazy tirade fighting in Hawaii. Then he goes and allegedly kidnaps some, some teenager in the East Coast. It was this whole wild run for months. Y'all remember that? And they have not cut him off from being The Flash in the movie, right? The movie's done. They're still going to keep him in there. So people are like, yo, how is it that he's getting cut off? and all of this, and yet there's other actors that are obviously different skin color that are not getting the same kind of treatment or being cut off in the same way. I'm just mentioning it. I'm not going to dive into it too much, uh, but th there's that angle to this entire conversation with, with majors here. Now, it's interesting that if this is true, that the woman's trying to recant all of this and send these messages to kind of exonerate him from making him look like he did something bad, she's probably realizing that you just ruined his life and let's be honest she's with them she's really re reaping a lot of benefits of the lifestyle right the access the the celebrity he has the money he makes so sometimes um you know women will forgo the abuse because the situation is still too good it's like mm, do i take a couple of you know black guys here and there or slapped around a little bit to live this lavish lifestyle and and some women will choose that and it almost kind of reads to me as if this is something in that vein where she's like, damn, I'm messing him up real bad. I'm about to blow my bag, which is his bag. And so now let me try to save face and, and act like, uh, you know, downplay this whole situation. But, you know, once you bring the law into this and they start opening that can of worms and they start finding stuff out. In fact, all it really took was this hitting the trade media and going on social media, becoming viral. And now, look, it's already allowed other people to come into the fray and say, yeah, yeah, he did this to me and make more allegations, which is just piling on to the entire situation here. I think as long as this gets resolved before they have to go into filming, or they near filming, and if it's still dragging on, I think Disney will make a call at that point. But it seems like they may have not started filming just yet. So that's he needs to get this resolved as fast as possible. If I'm Jonathan Majors, I'm I'm having my lawyers go to the courts. You have a right to due process and a speedy trial, and you know all that stuff. I'm doing whatever I can to move this along. To try and clear this up as best as possible. And especially if you are innocent, this would go against a lawyer's advice, 100%. But if I know I'm getting falsely accused, I'm screaming to the high heavens. I'm coming on this live stream every night. I'm going on my social media. I'm making a react reels and, and all this stuff. I'm innocent. I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm to the high heavens. I'm innocent. Um, now a good lawyer would tell you to just shut up and don't do anything for sure. But I would have to come out and say something, bro. You know what I mean? And the fact that Majors hasn't done anything to that effect, again, he's probably listening to the advice of his lawyers, but goddamn, bro, if you know you didn't do nothing, I'm coming out and saying something. You know what I mean? Come on and say something, bro. Majors has been quiet this entire time. And again, for legal purposes, it's the right thing to do. But but here, here's the thing that here's the thing about all of this. We live in a time where when when you have an accusation brought upon you or made against you, you are fighting two things at once. You are fighting in the courts and you are fighting in the court of public opinion. And you have to come up with a strategy, in, in my opinion here, that uh, works for both at the same time. Because while you're listening to your lawyers that are giving you the advice to battle in the court, the court of public opinion over here ain't hearing from you and they're coming up with their own projections, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, um, 
assumptions and theories about this all, I, I think a better strategy here would be to run something in parallel that doesn't infringe too much on the legal side of what you're going to have to deal with, but allows you to have some public facing position on this, at least make a statement. You come out, people see you, you give the statement, not just ran through your PR, uh, you know, uh, agency or whatever. That, that's how I feel this should be. Now, this is where it gets real interesting, right? The industry was jolted by news of Major's publicist, the lead company and Management 360 had dropped the star client well before his first court appearance next month. Again, this to me is probably the most seething part in all of this right now is that his, his management and publicist Chuck the deuces, you know, he's got hit with this misdemeanor allegations of some type of, of abuse. We don't even know the details of it all, but I think it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen here, man. And God damn, listen, if he did it and he, and he's out here beating women, then fuck it. So be it right. You, you got to pay for that. That's not cool. We don't beat women. That's not what's up. And on the flip side, if this if this shit's all doctored up and and some bullshit, yo, my man got to fight to clear his name and take action against that too. So we're all gonna have to wait to see what happens here. But just kind of sad. I had high hopes for this brother, man.